Hello and welcome to this week's SolarCast. My name is Kitty and I am your host of Kitty Talks. And this week I'm going to talk to you about the most difficult decision I have had to make in recent years. I have recently decided that I am going to close down and let go of my recruitment business. Now, for those of you that follow me and know me, you know that I'm a multi-talented, multifaceted entrepreneur. Uh, I have a property business. I have my coaching business, obviously, with Diadama. And I also have this recruitment business. And recruitment has served me well. It's been a very big part of my background. And I recently came to the conclusion that I needed to move on from it. So let me talk you through this, because I think some of the some of the wisdom I'm going to share with you here, you guys are going to be able to relate to in your own life. Now, as you know, I have studied the concept of Dharma and I have my course, Do Your Dharma. And one of the things that Dharma principles talk about is that we have this inbuilt sat nav that we need to listen and follow to follow. And when we listen and follow our inbuilt sat nav, our intuition, messages come in mind, body, spirit and emotions. And actually, when we stay in flow with life, life feels good. But what can happen is when we don't necessarily move with the universal life force, is we start to get out of alignment with Dharma. Now, let me put that in English for you, because that might sound a bit woo-woo. What that basically means is, have you ever found yourself doing something, going through the motions, staying in a job, staying in a relationship, doing something that caused you to have resistance in your body. It could look like you just started hating going to work. You didn't want to get out of bed in the morning. You knew that that relationship wasn't the right place for you, but you were scared to leave. For me, this started to show up as I just didn't have the energy that I needed to do what I needed to do in my recruitment business. And having employed an amazing lady to come and work with me, that was less and less. And now, I actually really thought that I could do everything. This is another human trait, that we think we can do everything. So I genuinely thought by bringing, finding the right person to come into the business, I could oversee that person and I would be able to do my coaching, which is where my passion and which is where my love is, which is where my highest excitement is. But what became clear to me on a recent holiday that I had, and it's amazing how when we get space, we can see things very clearly. What became clear to me on that recent holiday was that even though I wasn't doing the majority of the work in that business, I was still energetically holding space for that business. My brain was still thinking about where we were going to get work from my the buck stopped with me you know if we didn't necessarily make the money we needed to in the business obviously I still have to pay everybody so it just became very clear to me that it was taking up quite a lot of my energy and a lot of my space and I'd always promised myself that once my coaching took off and once there was enough to step into I would step into that work full 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 throttle Now, the reason this was the most difficult decision I had to make was inside my intuition and my spirit was telling me. And actually, I had quite a powerful experience while I was away. Um, I am a transcendental meditator and I do meditation twice a day. And I was on holiday and uh, I was doing my afternoon meditation and I just got a very, very clear message um, that I needed to now stop doing the recruitment. It was time. It was really clear. Actually, it was kind of like somebody talking to me in my meditation. And I came out of that meditation and my husband was still meditating. And so I decided just to have a look at my phone whilst he was meditating. And literally the next thing I saw was a power path monthly forecast. And in that power path monthly forecast, it was saying how much for a lot of people is a a leap of faith month and how we are being pulled and directed to the work that it is that we need to do in the world. 
And actually, if we don't move forward, that can also have a detrimental effect. And I kid you not, probably for the course of the next week, everything I read was about taking the leap. Everything that I looked at, every book I opened, it was like the literally the universe was speaking to me. And the voice in my head got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, I've been in this situation before. So for those of you listening who are maybe making a career change, um, maybe you're in a difficult position at the moment and you don't know which way to take your life, I want you to listen to this because I think hopefully you can really gain something from this. Uh, I've been in this situation before where I was a partner in a recruitment business and an HR business. And deep, deep down, I wanted to be doing what I'm doing now. I wanted to be doing the coaching work. I wanted to be helping and serving humanity. But I'm a human being, so I was also quite attached to money and scared. (laughs) And so I was hanging on and I was doing this business, even though deep, deep down, I didn't really want to be doing it. I wanted to be the captain of my own ship. I wanted to have my own business. But I ignored those feelings. Because as human beings, we don't like to let people down. It's difficult to walk away from things that we commit to when we don't feel that we're so in alignment with them. Um, So every day I showed up because I wanted to be there for my partner and I wanted to be there for my team. But deep down, I had that kind of nagging feeling of something's missing. I'm not supposed to be here, but I didn't really want to listen to it. And consequently, what happens when we don't listen to the signs and signals that come in mind, body, spirit and emotions And this usually shows up in resistance, it can show up in illness, it can show up um, in feeling unmotivated, anxious, depressed. But what happens when we don't listen is it's almost like the voice, the signs get bigger and bigger and bigger. And for me, in the previous situation, it got to the stage where it actually went through a very messy business partnership split. And it was almost like the universe was saying to me, you're not listening, so we're going to have to get you to change direction. Now, I'd love to hear from you guys listening to this podcast if you've ever been in a situation like this, because I think this is a really interesting topic, which will give us all faith in what we're supposed to be doing and how we're supposed to do it. Because those are signs and signals that we need to listen to. You know, the voice will get louder and louder about the relationship not being right. The voice will get louder and louder about the job not being right. The voice will get louder and louder about which way you need to go. And our job is to have faith and trust and believe that life is working out for us. I I do have the faith and belief that life is always working out for my highest good. So the difficult decision I had to make was to close down the business. And really the biggest decision for me was to tell the girl that I was working with because I was very fond of her. Great girl, great sense of humor. Just I'd also seen her grow and bloom and get her confidence back while we were working together and it was it suits her she's amazing and so my biggest fear was having to hurt her and having to let her down and none of us like to let anybody down and quite often that means that we stay in situations we stay in relationships where we really shouldn't be or we stay in a job longer because we're scared of what we're going to be doing now I have really come to believe that everything is happening for our highest good. So I knew and I felt that if this was for my highest good, then in some way, shape or form, this would be for her highest good as well. And that was able me to make the, well, it was made it easier for me to make the decision. It still wasn't nice having to tell her. Um, But if you're listening to this now and you are trying to make a difficult decision, and your heart wants you to go in one direction, but your brain keeps getting in the way and saying, you can't do that. You know, how are you going to make money? How are you going to do this? How are you going to do that? Well, I'm here to tell you that when we do trust, when we do surrender, when we take that leap of faith, most people want the net to appear before they jump, but actually it doesn't necessarily work like that. And this is even talked about in the Dharmic texts. Um, We need space in our lives. We need to make space for whatever it is we're calling in. So my husband and I at the moment are calling in a baby. I'm also calling in my new career, which is taking Do Your Dharma to the next level. Um, I've got 40 people in our program at the moment and already they're seeing shifts. You know, we're only on week one. And last time we did this program, I saw people's lives change dramatically and 
come off antidepressants, come off, have let go of their pains, their illnesses, create lives that they truly wanted. So I know it's the way I'm supposed to be going. And I also know that my work is helping and serving humanity. And I know because of the sense of fulfillment I get. And I know because of the excitement that I get when I'm doing this. And I know it because it doesn't feel like work. But still, I'm a human being. So it's a difficult decision because obviously financially, my recruitment business was very um, lucrative and my coaching business isn't there at the moment. But we can't stay doing something purely for the money because it doesn't make us happy. So I also big enough and ugly enough and done enough of this work to know that you need to jump at some stage and you need to head where you want to go. And I was finding that it was difficult for me to do and have the results I really wanted in my coaching business because I only had my energy split three ways. So look where you want to go. Like I have created a vision for my life. This is something that we do in Do Do Your Dharma. We get people very clear on their visions for their lives and I'm heading for it. So I want at least 100,000 people going through the Do Your Dharma program because I know if I can teach them the skills I teach in Do Your Dharma, not only will they reconnect to who they are and what they want to achieve in the world, but they will make a huge difference on the planet. And that's why I've been put on this earth and so it was time for me to make that difficult decision and confront my demons and have difficult conversations and face my fear and jump so I will be reporting on how that jump goes but what was fascinating for me already is I saw as we were literally starting we do an introduction week or welcome week in Do Your Dharma. And I was busy focusing on the people that have joined the program, getting them sorted, getting them organized, getting them in. And it was almost like this beautiful whipple, whipple, ripple, ripple or wave of people were still being recommended. Other people who had done the program were saying, you must do it, it's so good. So more people were coming to me without me doing anything. And I attribute some of that to the space that I'd started to make for Do Your Dharma to take up more space in my life. So I'm hoping that anybody listening to this who's in a career transition, in a difficult decision, maybe you're you're wanting to make your life better, but it's a difficult thing to do because you might have to walk away from friends or people or partners, leave a job. I just want to reassure you that you're soul knows the way and actually if we listen to our soul if we honor the whispers of our soul if we follow the breadcrumbs if we take calculated jumps do calculated risks life is always happening for us and for our highest and best good so trust it trust it trust life Listen for the messages, mind, body, spirit, and emotions. And you will find that you get into this beautiful slipstream where life just flows, opportunities come, the right people show up at the right time. Um, Something I am going to look to do is work with a coach myself to help me take Do Your Dharma to the next level. And already two, two people are already popped up quite unexpectedly, actually. Um, when the student is ready, the master appears. So don't be scared. That business that you really want to set up, that business that you really want to follow through on, you know, if it feels right to you, if it feels like it's where you want to be going, what you want to be doing, take action towards it. And then when the time is right, step into it. You know, I always... Um, coach the guys that are working with me around how to transition into your business and I think you know innately when the right time is but quite often we just get scared and we drop and we think oh I'm too I'm too scared it's too fearful you know how am I going to make ends meet and it's very important you know the machine of existence is the what I like to call it works both ways you know it works it will always mirror back to us what we're focusing on so 
my pre- daily practice at the moment is by doing my gratitude in the morning. But every night before I go to bed, I'm also looking for the magic and miracles in my day. And it's amazing when we look what we can find and what we can see. So I would love to hear from you guys uh, when this podcast podcast goes live. So if you're listening now, that's you. What is it you have got from this podcast? What difficult decisions are you making that you now have the faith and confidence to make? Life is always supporting us. It's always looking after us. But the trick is to stay in flow with it. Now, what tends to happen, as I said, is we do things because we feel we should do them rather than because we want to. Actually, that's where we start to get out of alignment with ourselves and we're not listening to ourselves and then we become out of alignment with the flow of life. So what decision are you putting off? Time to make it. And I'd love to hear from you. So reach out, comment on the, the blog po- uh, on the podcast, on the blog post. And let me know what it is you are going through at the moment. And if you're interested in finding out more about how to stay in this flow of life, how to follow the, follow the signs and signals, how to understand how life works, the magic and miracles, and how to stay in flow with Dharma, then we are currently doing the Do Your Dharma course, but we will be doing another one in Oct- September, October. So you can always reach out now and go on the waiting list. That is not a problem. So that was my difficult decision that I had to make. And I'll be honest, when I made it and when I'd spoken to the girl that I work with, that was the hardest bit. But I did feel a sense of relief once I'd had that conversation because it was almost like my spirit was leaning down on me saying, come on, it's time now. It's come on, it's time now to do this. And as difficult as it was, I did sense of, um, a fe- have a feeling of relief. And I also know of, uh, one of the guys I'm coaching at the moment, you know, he's going through a similar position at the moment and that sense of relief is huge. And that's just another sign to say, well done. You know, you've made the difficult but the correct decision. So what decisions are you putting off? What decisions are you not making? The thing about this is, is there's a flip side. You know, once we make them, once we take the leap, once we take the jump... You know, it's amazing what's on the other side. So I will be keeping you posted on my journey and how this plays out and how it unfolds. Don't forget your dharma, your purpose is an unfolding adventure. But let me know again what it is, the challenges that you're facing and how you are looking to resolve them. And we will see you next week with another amazing guest on Kitty Talks. This podcast was sponsored by my Do Your Dharma course. Create a life so good that you pinch yourself. This eight-week online course demystifies dharma and shows you how to tune in to why you're really here. Go to www.kittytalks.com forward slash do your dharma.